Hey, this is Ne. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to show you how to change the chart properties in your expert advisor indicator or whatever program you have uh, in the code of this program. So you probably know in the meter trader four and five, in this case, it's the meter trader five, you can change the chart properties. For example, I can right click any chart, uh, chart, go to properties and I could say I want the foreground or I want the background to be yellow. So I can type yellow or I can just choose like any color from this uh, drop down menu here. And then if I click on OK, it will change the color of the background. So this is, um, uh, I mean, you can do it like this. It's um, not really practical if you want to if you want to change the color if there is a specific event like for example you could say if um, the price is above the moving average you want the color to be green if the price is below the moving average you want the color to be red and you could do this inside of your program and this is what I want to show you in this video so let's write a really simple program for this and whenever we want to write a program in the MetaTrader 5, we will use or we can use the MetaQuotes language editor. You can find it if you go in your MetaTrader 5, you go to Tools, and then if you click on MetaQuotes language editor, it will open this um, uh, integrated development environment and in the upper left corner you can click on new and you can create any program you like you could create for example an expert advisor expert advisor are the programs that um, run or execute uh, trading strategies um, in a chart so the 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 next step or like the first step is you choose the expert advisor template then you click on next then you choose a name we can do something like chart um, chart properties just choose any name here and then you click on next, next and finish. And that's it. That will create a brand new expert advisor. I will just delete the first lines. So the gray lines and the properties because the, uh, these lines do not affect the program at all. And now we only have three functions left. So we will focus on the on init function first because this is the function that is executed when the program is activated in the chart. And here we could do something like chart set integer and the chart set integer function if you move your cursor inside of this um, function name you can go to help mql5 reference and it will open the mql5 reference with the entry for the chart set integer function and you can see this will change the property of a specific chart and the function looks like this if we have a look at the signature we can see that we have to provide three values as uh, parameters for this function. And these uh, parameters are listed in the round brackets after, the, um, after we call the function or we write the function name. So the first parameter is the chart ID. In most cases, you want to put zero here because zero means it is always the chart where the expert advisor is running. So the chart where it's uh, attached to. Then the second parameter, and let's have a look at the reference again here. <clears throat> you can see it is um, the second parameter is the chart property ID. So it means what specific property we want to change. And you can see we will find a link here. It's the enum chart property integer um, enumeration. It's just the enumeration that contains all the uh, identifiers for the chart properties that we can change. And we can choose any of these. So you can just have a look at the chart ID here. You will find a description for all the IDs and you can see what specific value you can put as a third value for the chart, chart set integer function. So we could say, for example, chart underscore color underscore background. And then as a last parameter for this function call, we choose the value and this could be color blue. Then we close the parameter list and then we end the line with a semicolon. So once we um, added this line to the body of the onInit function, so just um, write it in between these two curly brackets, and then we can just compile the program. So click on compile 
here and then we can go back to the MetaTrader 5 and when we did this we can have a look at the navigator in the MetaTrader 5 and we will find this expert advisors folder so we can go here and then we just search for the program that we created it should be available now and for me it is called chart properties so I can choose this chart properties program and drag it onto any chart for example this euro dollar chart and once I click on OK it should change the background color to blue and I could do this for any color so I could say yellow so if I compile this it's automatic automatically activated again and now the color is yellow so you can see changing the background color was really really easy and there's a lot of stuff that we can do here is for example we could say that um, dum, 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 dum. what can we do we can, for example, we could show the ask line, for example. So just copy this line and the identifier is chart. Uh, I think it's show ask line. And then we just put true, whoops, true as a third parameter for the chart set integer. So if I compile here, we should now see the ask line. I think, yeah, it's hard to see it because the spread is usually really small, but there you can see there is the ask line. So you can change all of these properties and um, yeah, it's mode. So I can go chart mode and then I can say chart mode. Uh, no, it's not chart mode, uh, chart bars or chart candles or chart line like this. So I can change the appearance to a line chart. So you can see this is really cool. Also, um, what, what I tried to say before, we do not have to put this inside of the on init function. We could also go ahead and go to the uh, on tick function and we can check, for example, if the price uh, is increasing or decreasing. So we could do something like static double last bit and this will be the variable where we store the last bit price. So let's get the bit price symbol info double. This is a function that we can use to get the current bit price. And then we want to store the last bit price in this last bit variable and update it at the end of the on tick function. And here we can now check if bit is greater than last bit, which means that the price increased in the last tick. We could say something like start chart set integer, zero chart um, color background, color green or color light green. Oh, is there a light green? Yes, there is. And if the price is decreasing, bit is smaller than last bit, we want to say the chart should have some kind of red color, um, orange, maybe. So like this. So we will see that whenever the price is decreasing, the chart is now orange. If it is increasing, the chart is green. And you can have any condition in your if statement here. So you can do a lot of cool stuff and add it to your expert advisor and it will change the appearance of the chart. And yeah, also, I mean, of course you can change, um, change everything again manually, but if the program is still active, it will override these changes quickly. So with the next tick, yeah, you can see it will change the color again. So there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, just read about it in the in the reference. Also, there is not only the chart set integer. There's also the chart set double, for example. And you can it's the the like the process is completely the same. You can just read about it in the uh, in the reference and. Most of the time you want to change some integer parameter or property of the chart, but you can, you can really change anything here. And yeah, that's really cool. Also, you can, um, there's not only the chart set integer, there's also the chart get integer function. So I could say, I want to read the chart color background um, in the current chart and I want to print it. So it works like this way around also. Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit ugly, so we should say that this is a string. I don't know, what what do we put here? Color to string. Yeah, this works, I think. Um, let's try this. 
color name true. So yeah, you can see, you can also read the, the, the chart background color like this. So yeah, it's a really cool, cool trick you can do. I mean, it will not really change like the profitability of your strategy or something, but you can use this to make it um, that, like to make the chart look more interactive. And if you only have a look at the chart, like from while to while, you could change the background color or some, you could change the appearance of the chart to, to really have a, a quick and easy overview over your trading panel, your chart, your setup um, with only one one small or one quick view on the on the meter trader so okay so this is it for this small little tutorial where we had a look at the chart set integer or start chart get integer function hope you liked this and if you did leave um, a thumbs up for the for the video and also make sure to subscribe to not miss out any of the following programming tutorials so in the end thanks for watching have a great time and good trades bye bye